Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. I'm Rolling Redneck. Today we're going to get the water gem. Then we're going to do two floors of the uh, Chapter 6 Mount Gunthor levels. Or Mount Gunthor, whatever. Well, I find the bosses to be a bit lackluster. The music is pretty cool. I fully acknowledge that I just got in there to give you a closer look. I could have killed that thing from long range. Let's have Monica pick up Jim. Just see how uh, she reacts. I will get the uh, Luna Lab treasure boxes off screen if I didn't get them off already. I'm doing this from a little further ahead in time, so. By the time I post this video, I will be in Washington already, so yeah. Oh hey, we can upgrade the arm van after I kill this thing. Oh hey, I killed that thing. Yeah, we'll have to wait till chapter 7 to upgrade the arm band as well as all our other weapons. But let's go on a magical tear. It is always funny when the monsters get stuck trying to attack you in a straight line and they get stuck on the thing and still keep coming at you. But then again, I am very easily amused.
shall it be? Very good. Here you are. So I'm still in Chapter 7, and I've never bothered to uh, upgrade the Platinum Brassard so I can do 12 on the sword. I could have had the whole thing, I could have had the, the wealth attribute on the sword. But I was too lazy for some reason. Heatware is such an interesting game. Like, first floor, menswear, second floor, lingerie, third floor, heatware, and a bunch of uh, skeletons come out like that. Again, I really do want to know where Dark Cloud 2 designers got some of these names. In case you're wondering, yes, I do know that I could have used the magic to tear down the living armor. What? I see I can do that while I record you. Right now, I'm advocating the commentary, and I'm just ridiculing past me. I'm very grateful that some RPGs are doing away with the collected experience point system. Because when experience points are rendered collectible, they can just fall off into a cliff somewhere or disappear. And that's just annoying. I think the only reason they had experience points be collectible is because the monster transformation system was so completely unusable that the only way they could get you to collect experience points from the monster was to make it so that the monsters didn't have to actually kill anything.
Now, I have skipped most of Speedo. But there is one place I'm going to do all of it. So it will be off screen, so it will be on screen. But that is the next dungeon. Because uh, after the next dungeon, it is an next dungeon after it's yeah. inaccessible. So. Yeah. Anyone want to speculate what repair powder is made of? So you can just pour it onto hammers, swords, robot guns, and it works. Okay, so there's a fire spirit here. That makes sense. And there's a flaming skeleton here. That also makes sense. But why is there an ice spirit? We are in a volcano, the fire dungeon. Why is there an ice spirit here? So we all wondered, we're wondering where I was going with that. And there are times when I was, I'm always wondering what the Dark Cloud 2 designers were thinking.
I mean, the ice spirit is a little out of place. They're like, oh, we're just trying to find a place to put this new guy. And like, programmers are like, we're out of different, we're out of slots for monster types we can put in all the other dungeons. Like, and there's some guy like, fine, put him in the volcano dungeon. Nova Cannon is my favorite ride pod weapon. It does a decent amount of damage and you can keep enemies away from you. Well, the ultimate samurai sword, the Samurai Arm 4, is uh, the strongest of weapons. You have to get in really close. And, uh,. By the time you get the Samurai Arm 4, you'll uh, have maxed out all the Ride Pot's defensive upgrades. And the monsters in that bonus dungeon, they still hit hard. Alright, I'm going to call the video here. Have a nice day, like, and subscribe.